Hello everyone, I'm Maxwell and welcome back to Stellaris. Now, I want to start a series of Plant Stellaris uh, and see where we go, see if it works out. We'll see. Uh, new game. Uh, pretty much for this run, I want to try to get a 100k science. My highest was 50. But that's the highest I've gotten. Um, now this is obviously the empire that I'm thinking will do it. Um, specialist pop output, specialist pop output, uh, have to be democratic. Um, they are mechanicus for that uh, robot pop build speed. We will be going robot, but also I need to wipe out everyone else because I don't want to deal with the lag from their ships. I've noticed a major difference. If I kill off every empire, the performance is manageable. But if I don't, I'll be... <clears throat> yeah, pretty much. I'll be sleeping. I'll be sleeping. So I have no choice but to war every single nation in the game. Um, I do want to change that, though, Rapid Breeders. Yeah, easy. Just so then they're a bit smarter. Um, okay, that is what we are going for. And also, we are starting on a cold planet, all right? A tundra world, simply because I think that cold planets are more likely to give you minerals, I think. So we are factoring that in. Okay, a thousand stars, um, AI empires. Um, difficulty is going to be admiral because I don't want it too hard. I don't, I don't hate myself. You know, I'm, I'm not going to be one of those the last players is like, grand admiral, uh, crisis strength twenty five times five hundred times six hundred. <laughs> no, no. All right, I enjoy my sanity. I want to have some fun, all right? A challenge, but a fun challenge. So the crisis strength will be like 10, okay? I've defeated 10 comfortably, so we'll do 10. I don't know if we will defeat it this time, but it'll still pose a comfortable challenge. Okay, here we are. Uh, we are the Kilvon Republic, all right? We are democracy. Yeah, set up the text first. We'll just get. We are going to be warring people early, but still, this wouldn't hurt. Um, quantum theory, hydroponics farms. I'm going to need as much resources as I, as I can get early, and that's going to do it. Um, uh, pretty much this same thing. I would get after bonus, but I want. Is it Corvette? What's that technology? The technology that gives you like Corvette reduction, like bonuses to Corvette building and whatever. I don't have it here, so I'm just going to go with. We are going to need speed. We are going to need speed. I'll get afterburners. No, but that means I need ships with bigger power to use afterburners and possibly better lasers down the line. Because I'm going to be warring everyone very early. Ideally, 10 years in, but most likely, and usually, it'll probably, it'll probably be around like 10 to 16 years. So we'll go with afterburners just because they give extra sublight speed. Um, these things cost money. Don't need them. For now. Not much I can do with the capital. I don't think removing the enforcer will be a good idea. That's too high for my liking. I'd rather not have to deal with that, to be honest. Uh, because I will be doing other stuff. That will distract me a lot. 
Uh, get you to set up that. Okay, where are we in the galaxy? We are down here. Okay. I can't see my worlds. Guaranteed worlds. Um. We'll get you to come down here, go over here, here. And get you to do all that. Okay. Now, as for... Yeah, I can't do much with this, uh, anything at the moment. I'll set that up, because I don't need that much food at the moment. Ideally, I won't need to settle colonies early. I should focusing, I should focus on warring early before like colonizing. Just so have I have a few extra hundred alloys to go to war against another empire. But I will need minerals. We'll need minerals. Okay, can we get it now? There we go. Now, what is that? That is a Tundra World of 15. Survey that next. And what is that? Savannah World of 10. What's that one? Tundra World of 19. We'll be doing that one next. Alrighty, first traditions. We will be picking prosperity because we want to go for that construction template that gives us increased build speed on our planets. We'll get that and then we'll switch over to um, supremacy straight after. Do you start building ships out of the wazoo, mate? Oh, you're not supposed to go down there. Go to this one first. Okay. Ideally, we're going to need this bigger planet to set up a factory planet first. We don't need to right away, but preferably. Okay, everything is fine. Um... Get that, get that. Okay, that's quite a big system. That's a bigger system. Hey, we can. Uh, launch this agenda. Uh, we'll go with Favoured Society just to get that specialist output. Two years in, we are not looking so good yet. Let's just set up the ships. Um, we have more important matters. Thank you very much. Uh, with the ships, nothing too fancy. I'm going to have to go with brawlers for corvettes. And now, I don't really... I, I kind of leave everything as it is, mostly. Because I don't, I don't care that much. Um, should I give it two missiles? I do like the lasers. Damage to shields. I can still do regular hull damage, but not as good as these guys. That should be fine, right? It's fine. Let's call that V1. 
Oh, all right. Another traditions. Yep. And head of research. What do we want to give you? Spark of genius, of course. Yeah. Spark of traditions for now. Uh, we're going to need another science ship when we can. Uh, please do not die. Ideally, uh, get out of that situation. Okay. Now what world? Oh, that's an... Ah. Might have to colonize a second planet and just use this as a mineral world. What happened? My main planet is 21. I just turn my main planet into the like factory world, or at least producing consumer goods and alloys, just to keep building industrial districts and get all my minerals from this world. Hmm. Gonna need another science ship. Actually, I'm gonna need two science ships. I need to find people straight away. No time for lollygagging around. Might need to buy more alloys. Okay, we'll get that. We'll replace you with a research labs. So we can do for now, get the extra person. Okay. Extra science ship will get not too important, but uh, maybe this guy. Wait, no, get the younger guy. He will last longer. 33, 44, okay, this guy. Uh, let's go and explore these systems. How old are you? 43, 37. Get you. Uh, can you s explore over this way? Um, we'll get you to have righteous. And then this guy will get you to have champion of the people. Actually, we have quite a lot of our politicians. Increase um, council agenda speed. That means we can actually take off this pop then. So it won't get too high. And we'll go with um, hostility. Okay, colonize planet. Okay, we will actually first contact them. Oh, that actually reminds me too. We want to go for a cooperative to try and establish communications faster.
Leave that for now. You're there, you can go there. What the hell? What are these? Oh, mining drones. I thought they were the crystal structures or whatever. Uh, explore there first before you explore over here. Let's just go around, I guess. All right, did we discovered someone? Yeah, they're close too. Excellent. That was the only thing I really wanted is for other empires to be next to me. So then I can immediately establish communications. Excellent. Uh, I guess we can go up this way then. We don't need to worry. Ooh, another person. Yes. Omega aliens will change the person who's on. Oh, we can't move them. What is that? A desert world? Arctic world of 23. Why are there so many hostile things around here? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We will make our way. Explore and then explore here. And then continue on exploring that way. Okay, you're still surveying. I want you to at least get down to that system before you turn over to this system over here. Yeah, oh, how far away are we? Okay, that's, we should start building those other two star bases now. We'll sell off our 10 consumer goods. And then, that's fine, mate. Keep keep it going. Now we start with supremacy. Time to get ready for war. We need to increase our alloys. Sprawling slums, build, I don't know. Build one more. Any more districts. Yep, keep at it. Is someone lazing around? You? What are you doing, mate? Why are you sitting over here? Yeah, you can go there, go that way. I'm actually also gonna get you to go back there, that way as well. Bruh, there, there are enemies everywhere. I'm in like the most dangerous part of the galaxy. But they don't realize that I am the danger. Alrighty, see? Standard uh, standardized Corvette patterns, that's what I needed. I don't know if we'll get it in time for the war. Well, that is only three years, roughly. So we might be able to. That combined with master ship rights as well. Get those costs down. Oh, we got it right on time too. Starbase is completed. Um, yeah, Starbase is completed. Got that. We'll just get you. You're getting going. You're going over there. Uh, 
uh, to have a massive jump in our economy. Hang on, someone's in danger. Uh, yeah, just go over that way. More, more dangers. Why are there so many dangers around where I am? What is this? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Who are you? Who are you this time? Are you the same people? Yes, you are. All mining drones. All mining drones. But there are a very decent amount of worlds here. Tundra world. There's a world. Decently sized too. That will be juicy later on. When I colonize it. Uh, yeah, go back there. See what's over this way though. Tomb worlds. Um, just go this way. I think you can still go that way. Yeah, and then go this way. Understood. Now we can start with this. I should have switched this over a while ago, but anyway. Uh, we're going to need to continue to get rid of more of this um, thing we call consumer goods. Okay, we established a colony. You will be a mining colony. It's fine. For now, we'll just give you those two. Now, what is this planet? Very barren planet. Yeah, we'll colonize you. Twenty seven. Can we increase that? Twenty nine. Okay, there's even more planets over this way. I might need to go through there. Don't think. Go that way and then, yeah, we'll go through that way. Oh, we need to sell that. Hmm. Leave that for now. We do have 30. I need to change. Oh, I should have done that earlier. Change my economy to militarized economy. Since we're making so many consumer goods. I will actually also get alloy foundries as well. Yeah, it's going to have to be this one. Uh, get rid of that. Can we get even more? No, we can't. Three years of saving up. Getting close. Oh, we can go this way. We can. What is our other science ship doing? Going that way? Okay, what are you doing? Explore. If this is cut off, that'll be like the biggest chunk of systems I've seen ever. That is connected that way though. Uh, 
Another planet. There's so many planets right here. That is so juicy. I, I should have gotten the habitability trait and just colonize all these planets. Absolutely delicious. Okay, we can keep going forward. We can also try and see what's down there as well. Who is scared of what? Go this way. Did I discover someone? Another person over this way. So I have someone here and someone here. Looks like we are definitely going to be having our hands full. Okay, we're at a thousand. It would be ideal if we had three thousand, but you know, big pickers can't be choosers. Pickers now, beggars can't be choosers. We'll get alloy batteries. There we go. Ideally, we, we want to try and reach for war games to get that extra plus 20 command limit for our fleets. That would be juicy. How far are we along? Stage three? Um, what do I really want to do here? Politician or a spark of genius? Uh, they're both good. Maybe just politician because I kind of need those um, agendas done, preferably. Stage four. Don't tell me, do, isolationists, do not tell me that they are, what do you call it? Don't tell me they are inward perfectionists. If they are, that would suck. That would suck. Because the thing about inward perfectionists, if I was to like, I can make them tributaries, which is a good thing, and they'll help me. But I have to then release them later on and then claim all their systems and go to war against them. And that's, it's just, it's tedious. If this is the only one in the game, I can live with that, maybe. We'll see. We will see. Um... What a one for you. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you again? Oh, yeah, this guy. Discovering me all them planets. Uh... I guess you can have anomaly research speed, but anomaly discovery chance, though. I think I should give you anomaly research speed because after we keep finding anomalies, I want you to do all the like research anomalies and research archaeology sites, rifts, etc. So I'll give you that. Okay, how are we looking? Um, ooh, 50 alloys, that's pretty good. We are consuming about 30. We are losing quite a bit of resources. Not ideal. It's 
Savannah world. Um, no, it's fine. Leave for now. And you, Mr. Lazy, lazy bugger, you've been sitting over here for like, literally like a year or so doing nothing. Go over that way. Go there and then, I don't know, go there. But, oh, we can go through. Hmm. Yes, go through and see what's on the other side, mate. There you go. Give you some stuff to do. Someone's up here. Interesting. Interesting. I am into resting. Okay. You have been settled. We'll turn you into a um uh unification center. Just for the unity. Elections, mate, elections. Now, for this other scientist. Um, I think you're the one up here, am I right? You are commanding the Igus. Yeah, you're this, you're this guy right here, been lazing around. Uh, perfectionist anomaly discovery chance 15% kind of want you to be honest yeah I'm going to go with that after I get you to discover all this area here preferably in, and down here I'm going to get you to come back It looks fun. I mean, I could go for fortify the border and get another two star bases to give me more food output. It's already year 10. We'll get that. Um, we have not discovered anybody yet. I will build another one of these. And actually, yeah, give me that. Um, you all right that's good we'll get that as well i guess who did we elect uh the scientist damn it that's not good does that mean we can still have what about stability Stability is fine. Um, who do we put as... This guy, maybe? I don't know. I guess I'll go with that guy. We have someone who's lazing around doing nothing. Ethog... Yeah, Ethog was supposed to stay around for a while, but he, he was also going to die as well soon. Anyway, um, we will have to dismiss him, but he was the son of Morgog the Great and leader of the Great Culvin Empire, United the Ideal of Progress. Ethog is determined to advance his empire through scientific progress, but he knew. He knew that he first needed to defeat every other empire to make sure that scientific int scientific progress would not be interrupted by this 
known universal phenomenon we call lag. He predicted it. Yep. Anyway. Alrighty. How far are we? Stage four. It's fine, mate. It's fine. So many planets. The thing is, though, if I colonize all those planets early, I end up in a situation where I have a lot of pop, a lot of pops who are just like sitting idly on planets. I mean, sure, I could probably put them into like roboticist jobs, but that early on is like a very stra like taxing strain on the economy because you just have a lot of pops doing nothing. So I need like a uh, planet, a full factory planet or whatever, just to satisfy their needs. Oh, you don't tell me you're in them. No. Happiness. Why? But we do get a bonus. At the end of it, I believe. I'm not sure what it is, but this will last for a while. We choose to go forward with this. Um, five percent. What's our planet looking like? Happiness wise, we right. We right. Yeah, we right. Okay. Might as well just get you to start surveying all these planets and systems when on your way back. Okay, you're lazing around again, mate. Good thing these guys are not attacking us, otherwise you would be Gonzo, mate. Bagger. Uh, yeah, it's nice to meet you. Oh, we met you first, okay. Um, time to start building ships, I suppose. Uh, get rid of that. Why we build up ships, I will now purchase more minerals. So simply because we can start building up our mineral stockpile. Once our ships are done, we'll start building transport ships while we war them. Transport ships will be done. Uh, the fleet will be coming back ready to attack someone else. Transport ships will be there landing on planets and coming back as well. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Zen it is them. Xenophobic isolationist. I know it. Inward perfectionist. Alright, mate. Alrighty, alrighty. Time to start building up, mate. I don't want you having that world, to be honest. Okay, we are one step away from that command limit. Uh, no, we don't. No, we don't have time for this. That's going to be such a strain. Don't have time for this. You're not even in our borders, mate. A mysterious labyrinth. Can we not do that today? Can we not? No, I refuse. I don't want to be doing that today. Why today? 
That's dumb. Um, I don't need to build anything on you just yet. All right, um, these star bases. Get that. How cheap are our... No, we don't have much. Okay, they, the base was 73, but we have... Why is it 80? So if we... It was supposed to be like 90 something, but we managed to reduce it down to 80? I mean, it should just show like the in total. Otherwise, like one map thing, I'm counting components and sections. So base for both of them would have been 103. But it was reduced and then we get the end result of 63 for components. I'm guessing that's just like ship sections and then, no, sections is the ship sections. And then the components is like everything Everything on top and around or whatever. All the guns and shields. I'll I'll take what I can get, man. I'll take what I can get. Uh, is that the last two? No, we still have a bunch more. A lot more. Okay, who can we war first? I kind of want to war you, but I know that this... No, no. We're going to have to war the... Isolationist first. Simply because he'll be harder to deal with, but once he's over and done with, he will be less likely to expand and will give me his resources. Can I make the clan? I can just steal his plan and then he'll be dead. Yes. Yes. Yes! <laughs> Thank you for spawning right next to me. I can just take your capital and you'll be dead and I will never have to deal with you again. But, oh, no, because then I can release the capital as a puppet later. See? Big brain. Big brain. Well, for now, we just build up. Do we have enough for an invasion force? What the hell? Uh, oh yeah, the uncontrolled mutation. Pop growth speed, ugh. Disgusting. Perfect, man, perfect. Sell more food. Who is finding that? Where? Okay. Can we... Oh, we'll keep pumping... Oh, we need to keep pumping our ships. Um, Ship weapon damage. Yeah, we'll go for that. Thank you very much. And we'll go council agenda speed as well. Can we... I need to... Tributize you. Ten unity. Ah, oh, that is disgusting. Yes, building up ships now. Prepare for military build up. Does that help enough? Yes, it does. Just give me over. Or was that the system construction? Yes, we can. Wait, wait a minute. You're xenophobic isolationist. But you, you don't have inward perfectionist. Otherwise, if you did, I would only be able to tributize you. 
Interesting. Interesting. Maybe it's just your ethics, but you haven't actually got the civic. I think that's the case. In that case, if I can still just vassalize you, that's no problems. Okay then, vassalizing it is. Thank you very much, mate. You are going... Going, going, gone. Let's make this quick. Well, we are warring earlier than expected, which is nice, and that is a good thing. I thought it would probably be a bit like my usual runs. Well, war around like 20, uh, 16 years in, but four extra years, that's good. Okay, so we pretty much kicked off the first war, but I'm going to actually leave it there because um, we'll come back to this. And then we'll we'll continue the war. We'll see how things go. Um, but yeah, pretty much uh, we'll come back to this. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.